on today's episode of Moto Cheese. Got me a scooter, boy. Headlight and horn. Oh, those are itty bitty wheels. Oh, they're pneumatic too. Look at that. Holy cow. Little baby front disc brakes. Oh, look at that. Comes with a Swiss Army all in one wrench set. So it has front suspension and rear suspension. It's got a 52 volt, 25 amp hour battery, 29 amp controller, two of them, one for the front, one for the rear. Mechanical disc brakes, it says top speed 65 kilometers, wow. 40 degree climbing angle, weighs 40 kilograms. Pulling that head in, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. It's just tight. Got to suck that head all the way down in there. That locks that from folding. That must be for the headlight. Horn. Combo. Hmm. Little lights there, too. 58.8 volt. 2 amp. Fan cooled charger. What is this? Brake pads? They're stuck together. Yeah, it's the brake pads. Jeez, they're baby brakes. Two chargers. Dual battery. Dual everything. Oh, look at that. Let me give you another tube. 10 by 2.5. Get rid of this packaging. Get these fenders on. Make sure I get these the right way. I don't want you guys teasing me. So, the little one goes up front, and the big one goes back there. Pretty easy assembly, that's for sure. This thing's got to fly. I'm going to be a little scared of this. There's no seat or anything. Those little wheels going this fast. Dual batteries, dual charging. Well, the battery's charging up. We'll put this headlight on. You see, these must be blinkers and running lights. They have them on the front and the back. Look like the LEDs I used to put on my Jeep, just miniature. If it's anything like those, they are bright. Super bright. That's that. So let's go over the specs. This is a model SX10 Leout. I believe that's how you say it. it. Has a 52 volt, 25 amp hour, 21,700 lithium ion battery, times two, 10 inch OD wide tires, mechanical brakes, cable brakes. Comes with an extra tube, pair of brake pads. So this scooter weighs 88 pounds because it has two motors and two batteries. All aluminum frame and everything, but all that adds up. This thing might scare me. Maximum load is 330 pounds, which is 150 kilograms. 40 degree climbing angle. Wow, that's pretty good. Maximum range is 100 kilometers, which is about 62 miles. Top speed is 65 kilometers which is like 40 miles per hour. Wow, that's nuts on that thing. <laughs> I think I'd want a seat. I haven't been on a scooter in I don't know how many years. This has dual 1400 watt peak power motors. That's crazy. Those little tires, I'm a little nervous going off road. I'm definitely wearing my helmet. Now this says EBS brake strength adjustment. 
So I'm wondering if this has feedback. Two wheel drive, all wheel drive. One's done, one to go. Both batteries are fully charged, boys. Got to finish putting handlebar stuff together here. Got to kind of eyeball it up. Hey, Gizmo. What's up? Starting to strip a little bit. I am putting a lot of force, but it needs a lot of force. Got eco and turbo, single and dual. That's your throttle. It's a little loose. Got birthmark. All right, let's get this in the shade. Okay, so that's your voltage gauge. There's your headlight. Oh, okay. Just the back has blinkers. Front just has lights. Got a little paint, something on there. Three gears, it's in kilometers. So let's go over that. To enter the settings, or to exit the settings, long press the mode button and the power button for three seconds. O1 is under voltage setting. These perimeter settings aren't correct here. I'm not too sure, but this definitely is not right. I have to see if I can get the proper settings for that. But I did get it in a miles per hour. Single. In mode one, dual, there's gear two, and gear three. They look all the same to me. This thing's pulling a wheelie. Oh my god. How do people do this? Something's not right. This thing is way too fast. It's like pulling wheelies. Oh, it's because it's dual. Holy mackerel. So one, two, and three don't make a difference. But boy, you put dual. A little scary, I gotta admit. Wow. So I'm gonna do it in dual. Eco. This button out. Jeez, this thing's got so much torque with both of them on. It's a, it's amazing. <laughs> Not great in the mud. Almost dumped her, boys. <laughs> Crazy, am I?
these. And that's not even on. Oh my God. That was 24 miles an hour. I don't know if I want to do top speed on this thing. A little scary. I'm not even in turbo mode yet. Off roadin's hairy. And that mud almost wiped me out. 22 miles an hour in single engine mode. Oh my god. I was just doing 38 miles an hour. Oh, that's why. Turbo is with the button out. I'm doing 37 uphill. I was just doing 44. Oh my god. This is insane. A little too fast for me, boys. If I had a seat, I'd feel a little safer. Let me go economy. And I want to try this back on one, too. I'm putting it back on one. Mode one. Mode one, two, and three don't do anything. I'm going to kick it in turbo and see if we can fly up this hill. None of the bikes, I don't think, ever made it up this hill. I'm doing 23. I guess I could put the GPS thing on in my pocket, hit a top speed, and then see if it's accurate. Hope you guys can see that speedometer. Oh my god. This thing just zipped up that steepest hill at 23 miles an hour. I'm going to do economy for a while. Economy three, two. So the level settings don't do anything. But boy, you hit that turbo mode. Holy cow. I'm going to put my GPS on. All right, I'm recording. It's like a Widowmaker. Holy shit. That's like 40, 42. Oh my God. This is dangerous without a seat anyway use my blinker I'm gonna go back to let's try turbo with single motor I'm gonna add single motor I'm doing 30 miles an hour I could try to do a zero to top speed I never realized these things are that fast. I'm going to do dual and turbo. I hope you can see the speedometer because I don't think I'm going to be able to pay attention to it. Oh, deer running over there too. That wouldn't be good. 16, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 43, 44, 45. You tell me how fast. This is just nuts. Wide open 45. My God. This is definitely a widow maker. You don't want to race. This thing's the fastest battery thing I've had yet. I'm not, I don't want to go on the main road. That's single motor. Dual motor. Wow. Still using pedal power, huh? <laughs> I'm doing a review on this thing. It's like insane. It's like a Widowmaker. It does like 45 miles an hour. Holy shit. Scary with no seat.
Yeah, it's got dual batteries, dual motors. But I tell you what, I'm used to having a seat. I do motorcycles and e-bike reviews. When I was doing 45, I'm like, oh my God. I don't even know if this thing's legal for the road because it doesn't have pedals. Craig. Moto cheese. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. That's 40, going uphill. 43. If this had a seat, it would be badass, I'll tell you that. They must make a seat kit for this. I gotta find one. 45, I'm doing 47. It's got so much torque. And it's set for number one on soft start. I'd be afraid to try this in the sand. Man, I hope you could see that speedometer. It's a pretty steep hill too. The suspension actually works really nice. I'm so nervous because this thing is so fast. I haven't even mentioned any of that stuff. It actually soaks up the road really good. If this speedometer is accurate, this thing's just insane. You gotta have some big kahunas to ride this thing full speed. Gotta be able to make a seat. The brakes work really good for those little tiny pucks. And they give a puck, two actually, with it. I'm in single motor mode. Let's go back to dual. Wow, this just, this thing's insane. Look at it zip right up these hills. I'm, I'm doing like 33 miles an hour up the hill. And very touchy too, you just give it a little gas. I wonder if I should change that setting where it says soft start. I wonder if that's backwards. Oh, acceleration, one is soft, five is high. That's number 12, let's see. Right now it's on one, number 12. That goes up to five. <laughs> Let's see what this does. I'll try it in single mode first though. Huh, you know what? This does have feedback. I can feel it if I just hit the brakes without putting the brakes on. It's regenerative charging. There wasn't a mode to set it. Should be able to see if it's charging up. It says 52.4 volts. So if I... Oh yeah, it's charging it. That's for, that's for braking. That's what that one through five is. It's charging it. It went up to 53 volts, see? Eh? So this does have regenerative braking, but it's a little bit too abrupt. Let me change that. Acceleration, one through five, P12. Let's try it on four. Find out when we go down the hill. Once you get used to it, it's actually pretty fun. Yeah, it's doing regenerative braking. Let me go down to three, maybe. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Oh boy, that'll that'll help with the brakes a lot. I think I like it on four better. I'll leave it on four. Went eight miles. 8.3 to be exact. All right, let's see. Let's see what the fastest I did on this program. Damn it. I gotta put my other GPS back on here. There we go. Oh, it's off a little. We're doing 36, and that says 43. So it's off. Thirty-eight. 
says 45. So the speedometer is off. Still 38 miles an hour on this thing. I'm sure there's a way to adjust it by the magnets or something. It's amazing. This thing's got a lot of power pulling the hills though with the dual motors. See what we can get. Thirty nine, thirty eight, says forty six on the other speedometer. And the battery is getting worn down a little bit. This thing is crazy fast. Let's see, thirty nine max. Did use a little battery. So yeah, you're looking for something that's pretty insane. This thing rips. And it does have the feedback brake system to charge a battery when you hit the brakes. It's built pretty damn good. Scared the heck out of me. So I'll put the links below, any kind of discounts that they're gonna give me. I should fold this up for you. So fold it up, let me flip that, go up like that. And do that. pretty compact yeah, that'll fit in the trunk that was a rush definitely the fastest battery powered vehicle that I have charger back up it did suck the battery down pretty fast but I was hammering up the hills and everything so I did go 11 miles I recharged the battery last night it was down to about a quarter I was in turbo mode and dual motor mode which sucks the battery down more. Here's your gauge, headlight. Blinkers, horn. Meow meow. If you're looking for a rush, this will do it. Definitely wear gear with this, even though I didn't. But the suspension's really nice, the brakes work great. The regenerative braking worked really good. Like really, really good. So thanks for watching guys. Oh yeah, and I'll put this. I got a list I found. For the actual settings for this. So I'll put that up. That's right. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.